In today's video, we are going to cover how to add a JIRA connection and how to add multiple projects into one connection in one QTest project. As a first step, you'll want to locate the correct project in QTest where you will be adding your JIRA connection. So you go to that individual project on the upper corner, and then on the right-hand side, you're going to navigate to the integration settings. Once here, you will click on the JIRA icon on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, you will see an icon that says Add JIRA Connection. Once you click here, you will be shown the connection name, server URL, web URL, username, and password. The connection name can be any name you'd like to designate in this QTest project. So we can say JIRA connection. And the server URL is where you will put your JIRA cloud instance. So in today's training, it is a JIRA Cloud instance connecting with a QTest instance. If you are using JIRA Server, you will insert the information here under the web URL. Please note that any connections that need to be completed on the JIRA side must be done before you can connect your JIRA instance to QTest. For more information on the JIRA instructions, you can find that on our support page at support.tricentis.com. Another thing to note is that when you connect your JIRA connection, there are multiple ways of connecting. You can use an API token, for instance, and there are instructions already linked in the connection box for that. You can also use what's called the OAuth method. And here, today, we are going to click the OAuth method. When you click on this connection, you will be taken to a screen that will supply you with an authorization URL. So once I click on this, I am given a verification code that I need to copy and bring back into my connection box. Once I hit submit, it will automatically put in my JIRA information. Note that this anonymous username and password is only connected through that special key and not something that you would save or input yourself. You will not need to put in your general username and password as that is not a secure connection to maintain in QTest. In order to test this connection, you can click on this blue box and it will tell you if it's connected successfully. Once you've completed this step, you can click Save and Configure, and you will be taken to the next screen that will ask you what you'd like to integrate in QTest. At this point in the connection setup, this is where you will decide what objects in JIRA you'd like to integrate in QTest. This is also where you can add multiple JIRA projects into one QTest project. So for example, if you have two different testing teams that have requirements in JIRA in two different JIRA projects, however, they both will be testing or having results from those in the same QTest project, then you can add both projects in JIRA into this one project in QTest. So the first thing that we would want to do is decide where do the defects go. By doing this, we can add the defect type. And we select the project that we'll be using. Now my issue type here under defect will be bug. Any issue type can be mapped or integrated into the each section. So once you select on the JIRA project, you'll be given the issue types or custom issue types that are originated in that JIRA project. I hit OK, and there's my defect integrated. The next thing I can do is tell the system that I would like to add an additional project as an option for defects to go into. 
when my testers go in to submit a defect, this would allow them to select two different projects that they would be able to add defects into. So for example, in test execution, when I select that a run has failed and there is a defect present, I would get a box that would allow me as the tester to select this project in JIRA or my secondary project in JIRA for where the defect should be housed. The next section of your integration is your requirements. Here, I simply turn this on, and on the right side, I go to Add. And again, I select which project in JIRA I would like to get my requirements from. I can choose any issue type or multiple issue types, even from in the same project. So let's say that in this project, we are using user stories, but we were also using tasks or subtasks. I can select all the issue types that I would like to come in as requirements. I do this as many times as needed to make sure that I get all the information critical in this cute test project. Last, we'll add the release information. And again, I'm gonna go to add release type, select my project, and then I can choose my artifacts. In this project, I'm only using sprints, but if I was using fixed versions or a different methodology in order to house my releases, I could choose those as well. First, we want to save our connection. And once our connection is saved, we can go through and fetch and retrieve each of our data areas. And the retrieval process will continue in the background so you can select OK and continue on. Please note that anytime you make a change in this connection, you will want to do a new fetch or retrieve as you will change any sort of associated stories when you map new requirement types. Lastly, when we're done, we can save and activate and our connection will be complete. I hope you found today's training helpful. Please feel free to click and subscribe to our Academy YouTube channel for many more training videos like this one.